Welcome to the virtual campus at Indian River State College. We are excited that you have elected to take an online class that utilizes our learning management system, Blackboard. This short introduction video will guide you through Blackboard and highlight the main areas you will encounter in your online courses. When you arrive at the Blackboard login page, be sure to review the information posted. Any notifications of system maintenance that will directly affect Blackboard's availability will be provided here. When you are ready, log in with your IRSC student ID number and password. These are the same credentials you use to log into your My IRSC account to register for classes. If you have forgotten your password or need it reset, click the link Forgot Your Password. Click the Sign In button to proceed. Once you log in, you will be taken to the My Institution page. Here, you will find notifications about all of your courses. Most notably, you will be alerted to any new announcements your instructor has posted. On the right-hand side, under My Courses, you will find a listing of all the courses you are enrolled in. Click on the title of your course to enter the class. Once inside a course, the first page you are presented with is known as the Course Home Page. This page, similar to the My Institution Home Page, gives you an overview of what's happening in the specific course. Please remember that this screen only displays items that are relevant to the specific course you are viewing, whereas the My Institution page displays notifications from all of your courses. On the left-hand side, you will find the course menu. Click on Start Here to be taken to a step-by-step -step guide that contains all of the information you should review in order to be successful and to get started in the class. Here you will find the course syllabus, the schedule of activities, which shows you what you are responsible for completing in the course, your instructor's information, links to Blackboard help, as well as helpful institutional resources. Please note, this is also where you will find the mandatory student introduction discussion board, as well as the Start Here quiz. You will have an unlimited amount of attempts to take the Start Here quiz but you must score a 70 or better to proceed in the course. Once you have successfully completed the Start Here quiz with a score of 70 or better, the rest of the content you are responsible for in the course will be released and made available to you. Looking back at the course menu, you will find quick links to the same helpful information provided in the course. Additionally, you are provided with a link to the Ask the Instructor discussion board as well as the Blackboard course messages system where you can easily communicate directly with your instructor and classmates in the course. Keep in mind that these messages stay exclusively within the course and cannot be sent to an external email address. Perhaps the most important area of the course menu is the content area. This is where all of the course material you are responsible for in the class is located. Here you will find the course broken up into modules. Each module contains a module overview describing the objectives to be assessed followed by the study activities folder which may contain lectures, presentations, videos, handouts, and more. The next folder in the module is the assessments folder which contains all of the items you will receive for a grade. This may include assignments, tests, quizzes, discussions, and more. To view your current grades at any time in your Blackboard course, click on the My Grades link on the course menu. Here you will see the grades you received from previously submitted assessments that have been graded by your instructor, as well as upcoming items that you will be responsible for later in the course. To compare your performance to your peers, click the Performance Comparison link. If you require online tutoring for your course, be sure to click on the Smart Thinking Free Tutoring link. Whenever you are ready to leave Blackboard, please remember to click the power icon in the upper right hand corner to successfully log out. This concludes a brief introduction to our Blackboard Learning Management System.